boxes to share with you. I'm excited. These are from um, Santa Direct. This is a, another mystery. So give me a like if you want me to do another one of those mystery diamond painting reveals like I did before. It was kind of fun to, to uh, work at it blindly and only see one section at a time. Hang on, I gotta get it to lay somewhat flat so I can peel back. If you are new to diamond painting, you will notice that there are two different kinds of covers. There are clear ones and there are opaque ones. If you, there are that, which means there are two different kinds of adhesive. The clear covers is actually a liquid glue they pour on and when it dries, they put the clear film over it. Um, this kind of adhesive is a double-sided tape. So they just cut it to fit and it's on there. So you never want to roll this kind of canvas backwards um, because it can like make the tape pop up. But as you can see, um, if you just peel up the lining, it flattens the painting out perfectly. So I'm going to peel this back and I'm going to show you but I'm not gonna look because I like the surprise factor. So I'm going to do my best to not look at the can, but I'll just take it all off easier than trying to fight it. Okay. Oh no, disaster. Okay, so this is why you should never take the entire cover off your painting because it curled under and it stuck to my paper, but baby wipes to the rescue. As you can see, there is no paper left. You just scrub it with a baby wipe and it comes up. Okay, so here is the canvas. And like I said, I am not going to look at it because I like the um, surprise factor. So now let's get this laid back down carefully and get the cover back on before we have another disaster. All right, so this is a 30 by 40, as you can see, and there are 30 colors. 30 colors, that's a lot. All right, okay, Whew, we are safe. So there we have that. So let's take a look at the colors that actually come with the kit. So you get a nice tool kit with a white tray. You get two pins with um, a nine placer and a four placer. You get some bags and you get a nice, good size piece of wax. <clears throat> Comes packaged with an inventory sheet. The DMC numbers are on the canvas. So you can see the inventory sheet here. And we have our beautiful blue metallic packaging. It's weird, there's like a little Okay, which one did I? Oh, oh, these are squares. These colors are really pretty. I don't have a clue what this painting is going to be because these are all very beautiful, like all the colors. So we have blue, green, and a burgundy eggplant color. Blue, this is a peach right here. It's very washed out on camera, but it's a really pretty peach blue, mint, kind of an orangey, kind of a brownish peach color, and then a buttery yellow. We have two more greens, lavender and hunter. Then we have another brownish orange color, navy, two purples, another minty green, and another eggplant. That is the first row. Then the others are white, purpley brown, another peach, two more blues. So we've either got ocean or sky. There's purple, very, very pale blue, and then another light blue, 
another purpley brown burgundy-ish color, and another blue. So I'm going with Sky or Ocean as my guess. I still have, I think I have three others. This was just one of those like surprise packages that showed up. I didn't know they were sending it to me. So that's extra, extra cool. I guess they saw my video and was like, oh, she likes these. So hopefully it will not be the same picture. But it's cool that they are squares. So they'll be lots of fun. I'm sorry. Okay, I think I will put this back in the box. Because the other mystery ones are still in their box. So I will keep it in the box. Keep them separate. So that way when I am ready to do one, I can just grab them. And what I've started doing with these is I will, since I keep them in the box, I will write mystery... Oops, let me get the black, black marker so it shows up better. Mystery. And then I'm going to put lots of blue. So if I kind of have a, an inkling as to which one I want to work on, then I can just, then I'll know this was the blue one. Actually, let me put squares on here too. I'm just going to draw a little square. Square. Okay, so that way the box is labeled and I can look quickly to decide which one I want to do. Okay, this next one is another um, set and I love, love this packaging. This is so fancy and so awesome. It's genius. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so this comes with the ultimate toolkit. You have this giant tray, which is the same size as my favorite tray. Well, if I can hold it properly. So it's the same size as these. Um, but it has a little pin holder. So cute. Now, I personally can't use the pink pens. My hands cramp up on me. Um, so I have to use the fatter pens. So this doesn't work for me. But if you use the pink pens, put your pen down right there and it holds it perfectly. So cute. So you get three pens. You get a six, a nine, and a three placer tips. You get bags and you get a nice big piece of wax. And then we have four separate paintings and they all come with inventory sheets. These are awesome. These are so awesome. All right, so first painting, and you can see also, look how nicely done the edges are. It's, it's a lot like um, Diamond Dots or Diamond Art Club. So they're getting fancier with their edging. I love that. So we have a beautiful tiger. Isn't he handsome? So pretty. Then we have this tiger. Tigers are my favorite, favorite animal. Owls are my favorite bird. Tigers are my favorite animal. I always wanted to own a Bengal when I was growing up because that's how much I love them. And then when I did grow up and I realized it's not a good idea, but I still love them. We have a handsome wolf. So pretty. And then we have another wolf. This is a neat set. I like this. I like these images. Very, very nice. All right, so we'll go in order of the paintings that I showed you, and we'll take a look at the drills. So this is the first one. Handsome little dude just chilling. And these are also square. Very cool. I know a lot of people don't like the squares. Oh, whew, whew. 
don't know why I'm crashing all of a sudden. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the squares, but it really is just kind of like a learning curve. You just have to get used to them. And um, after you get like a section placed, it seems to go a lot quicker. And if you alternate um, placing them, it goes a lot but easier too. It's easier to line them up where you would think that if you put side by side by side by side by side, it would work. But if you put one here, skip this one, put one here, skip this one, put one here, and then go back in and put those in, in between, works so, so much better. Don't ask me why, because I don't know, it just does. Okay, so first of all, we have white and gorgeous peach. Now again, this is our lounging tiger. And of course we have lots of greens, which is fabulous. So first off, we have brown, black, and two grays. Then we have green, two browns, and another gray. And we have two grays, kind of a chartreuse yellow color, and another gray. And then here we have three of big bags of green. Then this is another peach, another big chunk of green, a lighter peach, and this is kind of an orangey brown color, and then a beautiful kind of a slate bluish gray color. Sorry. There we go. So there you have it. There are 22 colors on him. Really handsome. Really handsome. Okay, so put these put back. And this is another thing that I will um, store in their box. I have run out of room in my portfolios. So anything that comes in a box gets kept in its box, just to kind of help with sorting. And then I just label, like I showed you, I just label the outside of the box. Whoops. Well, that's okay. I do it like this because it's going to go in the box, so it's okay. So there's that. Forgot to put the paper back in. And then next is the close-up of the tiger's head. Super excited that these are square. That's cool. Also, if you don't know, with squares, you get more detail. Um, since the drills line up side by side, there's no gap. So it really does make the detail stand out a lot, a lot, a lot. So if you like detail, then you want to get squares. So these, this has 17 colors. And again, this is the close-up of the tiger's head. And here is our colors. We have cream, tan, kind of a peachy tan, and then two kind of mustardy colors. Actually, that's the same bag. Sorry, that's the same color. Two bags of this. Then we have brown, kind of a mustardy, dark Dijon color. Taupe. Two oranges. Then we have a dark brown and two more reddish orange colors. Then we have a more of a brick red. These are kind of a brick red, not really orange brown, more brick red. And then brown, peach, tan, black, and a beautiful, beautiful peach. Okay. So that is that. It's only 17 colors on this one. Kind of surprising. But again, it is just the head of a tiger, so just tiger colors. Right, I keep forgetting to put the paper back in the bag. I'm not used to having inventory sheets. Also makes me feel very fancy when I get into four sheets off my paintings. Alright, next is our wolf 
close up. There are 18 colors on this one. Lots of gray. Okay. All right, so this first color is the same. Two bags of this gray. Then we have black. And then we've got three shades of gray here. Two bags of this one. Then we have a little bit of green, more gray, and a peachy tan color. Two greens, tan. Two more greens, tan, gray, tan, tan, tan. Actually, it's peachy tan and two creamy colors. So there is our wolf. I remember the paper! Yay! Okay, that in there. Again, that was our wolf. And then last but not least is the other wolf with the moon behind him. There he is again. And this one is 19 colors also. Again, very monochromatic. There's some green in this. Okay, so here we have white gray and a bluish gray. Another whitish color. This one is the one that's just like barely, barely blue. Then we have dark brown. Three shades of green. This one is another very pale grayish blue color. Two more gray. Another gray. Very, very pale gray. More gray, more gray, and this is black, and then we have two more gray. So very, very monochromatic with a little bit of green thrown in there. A little bit of green. Very nice. All right. So there you have it. I will... Um, Hopefully put the link in the description box for you. Gotta look them up. But there you go. I love these boxes. If you have someone that you need to buy a gift for who likes diamond painting, I think this would be an awesome gift because you get the four paintings, you get everything you need. If they're a brand new beginner, this is an awesome, awesome gift set. Because it gives them, you know. Four different paintings to start with. Keep them busy for a little while. Really fabulous. Still have sticky paper residue on my fingernail. All right. There you have it. I'll see you again real soon. Thanks so much for watching.